Welcome to Angie's Craft Corner. I'm Angie. Today is going to be a long video, so if you ain't ready, just be warned. We are going to work on a bullet journal that I have been requested to do. And um, it's, going, it's a little bit time consuming for the ones that don't know. Um, but these is just some um, recollections stickers I've got brought out. I've got a, my Cricut Riddle that goes with my Cricut tools. I've got little itty bitty oh, I got plain on um, journal stencils that we're going to be using. I've got a dotted book that I've already started with pencil, washi tape, mento ink, pen pencils, and these uh, pens. These pens I got at Hobby Lobby a while back. It was $19.99, but I used a 40% coupon. I never buy Hobby Lobby full price. But I do like them. They like a full point. A z zero point four point real fine detail for detail work. I love these. <coughs> I'm gonna use this rose out of this stamp set, and I may grab a few more stamp sets along the way. It depends on my mood today. I did make my book. I did um. I just found a, a side on a rhyme to do the the dots and then I just printed it off with my laser printer and then I binded it with my a comb and the um, cover is just a uh, colored cardstock I put 2018 on it with a Spectrenor, the big tip, whatever you call that thing. So, with that being said, and like I said, this these things takes time, y'all. It's not like a printed one. I mean, it's all blank pages with just little dots on them. So, it does take time to do. It is very time consuming. I have figured it out. Do I like it? Yeah, I do, but like I said, it's time consuming. I mean, it takes a good while to set one up. Now, I think once it gets set up, I don't think it will be that time consuming. I don't know. We'll see. So, with that being said, let's get started. And I'm going to start with my title, my front page. With Warshi. And I will also be using my Stampin' Up markers. These. And probably my crayon markers. I'll probably be using about it anything I can find. So, with that being said, where's my tube? Okay, I'm losing it already. So, I'm going to use the black out of this. And I'm just going to trace what I've already done in pencil right now. And why I done it in pencil? Because I was making so many mistakes with ink. And oh, it, it, will, it will be time saving. Trust me. So... And I'm starting this for March, although I've got some of uh, February in here. And we'll just see how this goes. And I will be erasing all my pencil lines, y'all. And 
thing. That's another thing. More than is the eraser. And don't you know it, I can't find one to save my life. But it's on my desk somewhere. Find on me. I did stick. I mean, I'm going to just take the, my Stampin' Up wrap markers and just trace in my name a bit. And for the ones that don't know, my name is Ashley Angela. I don't go by Angela much. But I'm trying. And I may get quiet because I'll start thinking about what I'm doing and forget that I'm videotaping. Okay, I'm going to use this washi. And I'm going to cover this 2008 up because I don't like it right now. And you can decorate these any way you want to. Um, I mean, you can get really creative. You can draw in them. And that's why a lot of people like them, I think. is because it, it brings out your um, creative side of you. Well, the other ones, I mean, you can do a lot of the same with this as you can with the other ones. Just, it takes longer. Because it's all fresh, it's all new. And, I mean, you can use the washi, you can use, you know, whatever you find. I mean, I, I've struggled with this for a few days. I did make a small one, and I liked it. It just wasn't big enough. So I went back and made the seven and a half by nine and a half, and just cut my pages down after I got them printed. So y'all gonna see how this works with me. Now, I'm going to take my rose stamp. I can find my mento. And do a stamp on here. Then I'm just going to take my stamping that marker and color it in real quickly. Or as quickly as possible. And some of this I may stamp and come back and do later. But right now I'm just trying to show you ideas of how you, stuff that you can use for it. And, you know, dig in your stash. I mean, look at home and see what you've got to use. This is a lightweight cardstock paper that I printed on. So I'm not having to worry about the bleed like I do in my planners. 
So, and I mean, you can put pictures in here. You can do anything you want, basically. I mean, it's yours. It's your creative. It's time for you to show off your creations. And like I said, you can draw, you can... You can use stencils, you can use... I mean, the possibilities is endless. And the dots does help when you are doing the uh, journaling or making the monthly spreads and all that. It does help, I promise you. And you don't have to use black ink. You can use any color ink you want. I mean, I just use black because I just use black. <laughs> I mean, if you want to be really creative, use colored ink on the writing, on the dates and all. I mean, whatever makes you want to use it is the key. And everything I've got in mind you may not want. I mean, there's videos after videos on YouTube on this. So, I mean, feel free to watch other videos on it. Because I'm not saying mine's perfect by any means. Okay. With that, I guess I need to put 2018 on this again. And I'm just using the black uniform from ballpoint pen. And uh, the next page is your index page. And I've already straight filling this out some. Because I know me. And that's and I'm I'm numbering each page. And I'm just going to do my index, cover up my pencil marks, and I guess I will choose with just a regular ink pen. And then I'm going to draw my line down here for my... And I promise you, this ain't going to be straight. It ain't going to be perfect. Because I'm just not perfect. By no means. And I'm to a point. As long as I get it done, I don't care. I mean, I try to get it as perfect as I can, but... It's not perfect by no means. I'm gonna try it. Shoot. I guess it's both the same. Mm -mm. So, if you got any questions, feel free to ask. And I will do my best to refer you to what to answer it. Uh, if I can't, I will try to find the answer for you. I wore my eraser. My big eraser is. Let's smear them. Okay, going, moving up. Okay. The thing about these drums is they've got keys. I'm not for sure what the keys does. And I have not really looked into it yet. I'm still in the planning stage of this. So, for the most part... I just really screwed that up. I didn't let my ink dry. 
so we'll I will get back with the keys um when I figure it out more I think I am going to change to my black one more. And this is if I'm stay log. And I what I used was a bloom stencil that I had in my stash. And I drew too many blooms, but it will be fine. And just kinda made them go out through the page with this stencil. And do not ask me what why I got that stencil because it's that was some of the stuff I got when I first started scrapbooking. And that's been a few years. And I didn't put this in order because I just didn't feel like it. And like I said, this ain't going to be perfect. Now if you wanted to, you can go back over your blooms with a colored marker. And uh, change the whole. And I may do that. It may not be in this video. Because like I said, this one's going to be long as it is. And yes, I've got the heat on. It's only, well, it's only for me to be up. Oh, this is driving me nuts. I'm not for sure why I overlap that bling, but okay. And when I fill this in, I probably will use my uh, ink pen and not use the pencil. But as you can see, I'm just going through erasing my marks. <sighs> and doing fill ins.
I'm still trying to find my baby rice from. I don't know what I've done with it. Okay, we are on to page five. This is the future log. And I'm not going to fill this completely out. I'm just going to get y'all started. And uh, then do it on my own. But the future log is where you put the uh, your dates and stuff you want to remember for the future um, of the year. And really and truthfully, I can, it does help. I mean, I can see what does help. And I'm just going to draw a line right up here at top. And for each little square is the date. I put the date. Did y'all know next week is spring forward? I'm so excited. I'm sick of these. I don't like these uh, short days. Because when it's dark, I think it's time to go to bed. Now, you can start in January and do this from January. I'm doing it from March because that's when I st I'm starting it. And it kind of threw my calendar, my future logs off, but I'm not, I'm not going to stress about it. But y'all get the idea of this. And it took up four pages. Just so y'all know. And then my last page. It's just got December on it. And then I've just left it for notes. And I'm going to. Just put notes. And then. Go back with my black marker. And do this. <clears throat> That's all I'm going to do. And put a couple of roses. <clears throat> As I said, I might just. I'll probably fill this in later and in a later video show y'all what I've done because this one is so long as it is and I'm trying to make it as quickly as possible okay the next three pages is my family info and what I'm saying is, I mean, you can put anything on this that you need to remember. That, uh, insurance, meds, whatever. This is my husband's. This one's mine. And I'm not going to be posting this online, so. Because that's nobody's business. Diagnosis, what you know, whatever. And the next page is my son's. 
And yes, I have two stepdaughters, but they don't live with us. Okay, the next two, this page and the next page, I've left blank in case I forgot something. And I'm pretty good at getting stuff. And then I'm going to March. And I used a stencil to write up the March. And my husband's coming. I just went outside. I don't know. I'm gonna let that dry for a minute. Okay, I'm taking my little stencils, these. And I will um, leave a link below where, the, where you can buy these. I'll just trace these with my pen, my black ink pen. Just a little extra decorations. I'm time consuming. <laughs> As y'all can see. But, I mean, this is the fun of it to me, is to decorate it. Filling it out ain't as fun as the decoration. Okay. And now I'm going back with my Mento ink and my rose stamp.
and that's all I'm and I will like I said I will come back and color these in eventually and then I'll show you the flip through but time wise I'm going to try to get this done okay this is YouTube, my YouTube ideas for the month And as I said, I will, I'm going to use this stamp again. And I use this stamp a lot this month. And it may be a, a staple in my, in this. While I'm at it, I'm going to do the brain dump. Now, y'all may not need the YouTube ideas or the brain dump. So, you can add whatever you like to it. Now we'll go back and erase all these. Okay, the next one is a little time consuming. It's the habit track. You can track your water, your walking, Bible study, you know, it's endless. I mean, you can track whatever you want. And mine's mainly and I'm just drawing a line following my little dots. Well, Pen must be about out of here. This one might be too. And the way you feel this in is every day you accomplish that habit is the day you get to mark it. You can color in the track one and see how much it has helped. And I'll probably add more to this. This is why I'm not covering up the whole page at the moment. Man, I may put business on here too.
Whoa. And then you go back and just date it for however many days is it in the month. And like I said, this ain't going to be perfect. I'm not even trying to follow my pencil marks on this. There's 31 days in this one. So, we'll just add it on. I've got 50,000 rice rolls and can't find one when I'm sleeping. Does anybody else have that problem? I found one. Not the one I'm looking for, but I suppose I found the right. Yes. Okay. Well, it just looks clean now. Taking my stamp again. I'm just going to this for the back. Here. I'm going to put this one here. I'm going to put this one right here. <laughs> I mean, um, I've done a deal for March goes, and this may change next month. You know, it depends on how much I use this stuff. Which ones? I'm still that stinking eraser. Yeah, I'm going back erasing this. This is driving me nuts. And I do not like my handwriting, guys.
Okay. Okay, now we're on to the health track one and the mood track one. And I'm going to just stamp these while I've got the stamp out. And, um... I haven't got the health tracker filled out yet. Not like I want to. Like I said, I'll come back and show y'all the finished product. I'm going to let that sit for a few minutes. Now on this, I used let me find it the 13 and this little floral decal and then I just put the dates in and um, the dates is none of them is it's just random and um, I'm just going to trace a few I'll say that and I'll sit here and do all of them and then I'm, I'm going to have a color guide down here for each thing I, you might feel, emotions. Cause I've been deal, I'm, I've been dealing with my depression a lot lately. I think this may help. And like I said, I may get quiet doing this. <clears throat> I'm fixing to get up to enough the heat. I said I was just going to do a few, but anyways.
Okay, just going to erase my pencil marks again. Like I said, this thing is time consuming, mostly setting up your months and all. So if you don't like time consuming stuff, this is not for you. I promise you. Well, that's my opinion. But what do I know? 